Hey everybody. Hey, hey, hey. It's lunchtime. Hope y'all having a great day. And uh, we get started in just a minute. Hey everybody, hope you're having a good one. Hope you're having a great day today. Hope y'all having a great day today. What's up, everybody? Hope you are having a great day. Hello, hello, hello. Invite somebody else to join in with us. Um, I'm just going to take about five minutes and talk about the key to happiness. I'm going to be starting something new um, called Becoming the Best You. And, uh, and it's just all about encouraging people to be, hello, encouraging people to be the best version of themselves um, and becoming better through different things that we can do to empower ourselves, strengthen ourselves. Hey, hey, what's up? Um, be able to strengthen ourselves and be able to um, encourage ourselves and grow into the person that God designed us to be. And that's what it's all about. And so, um, so I just wanted to take a few minutes just to encourage you all. And today I'm going to be talking about the key to happiness. What is the key to happiness? Um, today I want to talk about the key to happiness being gratitude. Now gratitude is really important, right? We all know gratitude is an important topic. Um, but did you know that it's important because one of the keys to having a happy life is gratitude? And this is something that my wife has been really good and really instrumental in teaching me about gratitude. My youngest son, he's six years old, Joshua. And Joshua, sometimes he wants to watch the, um, he'll want to watch, you know, a favorite television show or something. And, um, and he'll want to watch it before he go to bed. And so it's getting close to bedtime and he'll watch his show. And uh, he watches a little show or sometimes we'll watch it with him. And then he'll say, okay, you know, Josh, it's time for bed. And he'll say, Oh, no, Dad, well, just one more show, just one more show. And I say, no, Josh, it's, it's time for bed. You know, it's bedtime. And, you know, he'll, he'll, um, he'll really want another show even though it's not going to happen. And he'll start to have a bad attitude. He'll start to want to have a bad attitude. And I tell him, you know, jo uh, Josh, it's time to adjust your attitude. And one of the best and easiest ways to do it is if you're just grateful. And I tell him, if you're just grateful for the thing that you got, instead of being upset about the thing that you felt like you didn't get, then you'll have an easier time adjusting your attitude. And, uh, and hey, what's up? And, uh, and you'll have a happier time. And you know what? He'll understand, and he'll adjust his attitude. And I'll say, okay, and I'll tell him, you should say, hey, thanks for letting me watch the show. I'm glad that I had a chance to watch one of my favorite things. And so the key to having a happy life is gratitude. That's gratitude, the key to having a happy life. And so, um, you know, no matter what walk of life you're in, you should be able to relate to having a gratitude kind of disposition. No matter if your uh, religion is not Christian or Christian, no matter if you believe in God or don't believe in God, everybody understands the power of gratitude. Even on Psychology Today, their publication and their website, they say that studies show that we can deliberately cultivate gratitude and increase our well-being and happiness by doing so. So as we increase our gratefulness, it, and especially in our expression to others, um, it'll increase energy, it'll increase optimism, it'll increase empathy, it'll increase our overall mood. And so it talks about even in the Bible, in First Thessalonians, it talks about in all circumstances, we should give thanks and that is the will of God. And it wasn't just a lighthearted request. It was telling us that if we want to have a good attitude, we got to remember to be thankful, to have gratitude. You know, I was just talking to one of, uh, one of our leaders yesterday, and they were coming back from the Haiti mission trip, and they said that they ran across children who had never, they, they had nothing. They were in an orphanage, but they had never seen a mirror before. And she said that these children now spent like the next couple hours in front of this mirror. They bought a mirror in front of this mirror because it was like something that they had never seen before. And 
it was so amazing to them how much that we take for granted sometimes. And, you know, I know sometimes it's easy to complain. It's, it's easy to, to say what's not going right. But, you know, nobody ever has a problem or needs to be convinced to complain. Nobody ever needs to be convinced to complain. But sometimes we need to remember to have an attitude of gratitude. Hey, that same, yes, Bill Winston is my dad. Uh, that, same, um, that same attitude will help lead to happiness. And so that same job, you know, that you might be at that you were really hoping to get last year and you finally got it. And now you're complaining about your boss, your supervisor. You're like, I can't stand this job. That same job, remember where you were a year ago, where you were begging for a job. You're pleading with God, please give me a job. And we just have to remember to be thankful for what we've been given. I mean, I'm thankful every day, and, and I believe that if you could just think about five things that you're thankful for, and just say it out loud, what you're thankful for, it'll help increase your mood and change your attitude. I'm thankful that I've been given such a great family. I have healthy kids. I have an awesome, amazing wife who's as beautiful inside as she is outside. I have a wonderful, wonderful job. And I have all of my needs taken care of. God has blessed me tremendously. I never go hungry. Uh, I never even have to worry about where my next meal is coming from. I have a reliable uh, vehicle and means of transportation. So I, I never have to worry about that. I'm not out on the street. I'm not cold. I have, I have nice clothes to wear. I, there's so much to be thankful for. And when I start talking about and thinking about what I'm thankful for and how much God has blessed me, it's hard to have a bad attitude. It's hard to keep up with the, with the complaining and, and the whining and murmuring. And so sometimes we just got to remember the key to happiness, gratitude. Have an attitude of gratitude, as they used to say. So today, think about five things that you're thankful for. Thank God for them and, and be thankful that you are blessed. He's blessed us with many blessings. And so... Thank you so much for tuning in. God bless you guys. Make sure to share this with somebody else. I'm going to be periscoping often, so every day we're going to hit a new topic, and today is gratitude. So just remember, the key to happiness is gratitude. I'll talk to you soon.